Welcome to the configuration guide for getting fax transmission set up with your telephonic SIP gateway for Karyo operator. Uh, inside of the Karyo knowledge base you can see that there is specific support for T38 faxing in Karyo operator. Telephonic also supports T38. T38 is a special faxing protocol with voice over IP that allows you to use the same G711 audio codec that we use for high quality voice but it also allows for uh, sequential transmission of packets. Basically, it's a control mechanism to make sure that the fax is transmitted correctly over SIP connectivity. Okay, so in order to get our, our SIP trunks enabled for fax, we're going to need a SIP trunk set up with Telephonic with a username, password, a SIP domain. We're also going to need the two SBC SIP proxy addresses for the Eastern Gateway and the Western Gateway from Telephonic. These allow for active active failover. And we're also going to need at least one DID or telephone number assigned to the account in order to add the SIP uh, trunks inside a Karyo. So the first steps are to log into your Karyo operator admin panel. Once you're in, we're going to want to go to our call routing tab. This is where we add SIP trunks and inbound call routing. Um, we're going to add a SIP trunk. We're going to start with the Western Gateway. So you want to put in Telephonic West here. Great. And we want to add the external number assigned to this account. Don't forget to add the plus one at the beginning to indicate country code one. Great. We're going to have a dedicated uh, extension just for receiving faxes. In this case, we're using extension 300. So make sure you correctly select the extension you want to receive your faxes on. We don't need outbound call prefixes here. Um, the host name for this particular account and, and yours might be the same as cario.cloudpbx.ca. We want to go into the advanced options to make sure that we're using the SBCs um, for both Eastern and Western gateways. In this case, we're going to start with the Western SIP proxy SBC in Vancouver. There you go, SBC1.van1, 1 1, etc. Click OK. Next, we're going to add our username. And we want to add this in both the regular username field and the user ID field for SIP authentication. We also want to add our password and make sure that registration is enabled. Great. We're seeing our settings being saved. Karyo operator is reloading. And we see now that we have a successful loading of the SIP trunk here with no red exclamation mark. If you do see a red exclamation mark, there might be an error with your configuration or it's just taking a little while for the DNS entry to map to our specific gateways and do a correct registration. Um, so don't panic yet. If, if after five minutes it still doesn't reload to a successful registration, then you might want to contact support at telephonic.ca for more information. We're going to repeat very similar steps for the Telephonic Eastern Gateway. We're going to add the exact same external number. Don't forget the plus one. Assign this to the correct faxing extension, in this case 300. There's no outbound proxy. The host name is cario.cloudpbx.ca. Under configuration, use the advanced options. Here we're actually going to be adding the Eastern SBC or SIP proxy. Notice the SBC1.mtl1 in the domain name. The username is the same as for the Western proxy. Don't forget to add it as a user ID as well for SIP authentication. And of course the password. Great. We'll see the save. The new route has been added. Carrier operator is reloading and now also registering with Telephonic's Eastern Gateway. So we have no errors here. The next step is to make sure that we have faxing detection enabled for our fax extension. In this case, we're using 300. Go ahead and open it up and click on the advanced options. Here we want to forward incoming faxes to the user's email address. And we want to change the settings for detection of faxing to make sure that we hear the fax beeps at the beginning of the fax call. This is the 3.5 second wait that enables a carry operator to do the proper fax detection and then turn on the T38 transmission specific for faxing. Go ahead and save these changes. We also want to just turn on faxing in general for the PBX uh, as a whole. 
Um, here we go to the PBX Services tab, and we want to enable um, the extension code 87. Go ahead and open this up and make sure that you put your correct system level password, uh, your system level email address. Go ahead and click save, and we're done.